Milia Airflow. I'm fresh air, made up of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, and most important to you, oxygen. Oh, a million! No. It's time for the training mission to begin. Get in airflow formation. Let's go! Why don't you join us? It's starting to rain! Let's flow towards those buildings. Yes! A millions! This is our way in. Through a wind-driven rain louver. Ooh. Louvers provide both architectural interest and important function for a building. Nice! They allow air in, but the blades don't allow dirt, debris, or rain to follow. The building's HVAC system needs fresh air from outside to keep the indoor air quality high and to help balance the indoor temperature according to the system's requirements and set points. Ooh. It seems the building automation system, also known as a BAS, has called for fresh air inside the building. Into the system we go! Yippee! Now that we have passed through the louver, we have entered the system in an area called a plenum. Ooh! Our next stop will be past the air measurement station. Wow! Which will communicate back to the BAS how much air is moving into the system. With this information, the system knows if airflow rates need to be adjusted or not. A damper will then function accordingly to modulate the flow of air. What's that? As you can see, right now, the actuator motor is working to open the damper blades more, which means the system is calling for fresh air. Yippee! We no. make our way to the air handling unit, or AHU. Oh! Say hi to the warm air Hello. returning from inside the building on its return mission. An AHU regulates and circulates air as part of the HVAC system. It mixes fresh air from outside with return air from inside and reconditions it by heating or cooling and sending it throughout the system via a duct system, which is where we're heading next. Ducts are a series of tunnels that act as passageways for conditioned air to move through the building. Nice! Ducts within a building will often penetrate through fire-resistive rated features, such as fire partitions, smoke barriers, or even floor ceiling assemblies, to name a few. When this happens, life safety dampers, such as a fire smoke damper, are required by the building code to protect the air duct opening at that location. These specialty dampers allow air to flow or be controlled, but in a fire event will close to prevent the spread of fire and smoke. This is intended to help keep people safe and can minimize the loss of property. Oh. Team, we're almost to our destination. Once we pass through that manual balancing damper, we will have arrived in the space that needed fresh air. Manual balancing dampers are placed at each point where a main duct splits off into separate ducts to feed individual spaces. They help direct how much air flows to a space to keep the comfort level at the set points. Whee! Whee! We have arrived! Yippee! Do you see? the people have already started feeling more comfortable. Because fresh air has arrived and the system is constantly exchanging air in the system, it is now time for the stale air to leave the room. It will head into the return ducting and back into the AHU, where some will stay and mix in with more fresh air from outside, and the rest will be exhausted back outside. Thanks for joining us on this airflow training mission. I'm Amelia Airflow.
fresh air brought into your building by the HVAC system and Ruskin products.